Okay. Um, what's the most valuable thing that a writer you worked with ever told you? Uh, that, a, uh, that who worked with? A director? Uh, writer. What's the most valuable thing that a writer you worked with? Oh, I mean, one of them is that when I, gave, I said earlier where they said, you know, that, that uh, that's not how I envisioned it, but now I can't see it any other way, which just reinforced the permission to uh, what they wrote is what they want. You got to give them what they need. Uh, and your job is to show up and say, I know that you thought that I, you, you wrote that he sits down here. No, he doesn't. He actually is not going to sit down to wait down here because I'm still hot and I'm going to be in the moment that you take where, you know, uh, certainly stage direction, but even the lines as a suggestion. Um, you know, uh, I, I had a line the other day that was, uh, you know, and, and I, I sort of changed the punctuation so that it, uh, this is an, uh, this is an old school, uh, fun thing to do is Anthony Hopkins will write out all of his, uh, all the words that he has to say pulls the punctuation out um so that uh if i need this if the idea stops i'll stop it then but if the idea doesn't stop there i'm not going to stop and i know you put a period there but that's not necessarily where my idea stops so let me keep going or you know different things so my line was uh we are going to fight for her and my instinct at first was we're gonna, we're gonna fight for her and then I started thinking, we're going to fight, period, for her as a separate sentence. Um, as in, we're going to do it on, for her, on her behalf. We're going to protect her, as opposed to we're going to get her, uh, is the meaning of the first one. And you can play with that. And that's, you know, I know that's not what the writer wrote. That's what I said. And if you disagree, we can have a conversation about that. Um, so that freedom, uh, when he said that and kind of gave me the nod with that, it, gave, it reinforced, yes. That's a writer saying, if I could do this myself, I would, but I'm hiring you because I need you to bring something new to this. Mm -hmm. If you only do what I had in my head, then you're just a prop for me to bounce light off of. Yeah. What I need from you is I need you to bring a whole different piece of humanity into this character. And now we're in a collaboration. Um, second, and this is a, a new one. When I was doing the soap, uh, I ad-libbed a line. Uh, and a nickname came out. And next thing I knew, in the next script, that nickname came back in and was written in. And that's when I began to realize that the beauty of being on any kind of serialized television, or if you're lucky enough to do a play where the writer has just written it and is there and available, there's a collaboration and a call and response. I threw something out, they heard it, they liked it. They said, now I got an actor who's starting to find the voice of the character as much as I am. They created something, and I threw it back. It's like a jam session between musicians or something like that. I, you, you start a bass line and all of a sudden they found something on top and you go, ah, now I can, now I can play with that and even change up the bass line a little bit because of what you came in with the melody and blah, 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 blah. And that's the fun of it, right? So when, I, when the writer came back and uh, I saw the writer and I was like, did you? They said, oh, I listen. They said, I listen. And, uh, and that was the I listen made me realize that, you know, the people you work with that are creating it, that you think I'm just executing their vision, you realize it is a circle. They're listening and they're bringing it back around to you to then take it to another level so y'all can keep circling this thing up to a whole other level, bigger than, and greater than either of you realized. Um, that's really great. That. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Morgan. Uh, 